this again. I will find them. Yeah. Oh, it's so good. Oh, so anyway, okay. Hi, everybody. We're doing more audio thingsies. And this is this is someone new. This is uh, Mr. Charles, and we've seen him before through Blah Network Bro, and we we did I did some work with him earlier, a couple months ago, and he is actually the voice of one of the villains in the show, Karak. I've returned you know, to let's... steal all of your souls. <laughs> and it's an awesome voice that he has, and you can see, I mean, I know, like, uh, with Charles right now, he doesn't have as much lines, and there are a few actors that are going to be that way. Um, but I mean, right now, I mean, with the exception of a little bit of coaching uh, from me, he's doing everything perfectly. So, so yeah, it's really awesome. But um, we are going to do it one more time, and it's just rolling. So go ahead and just uh, have fun with it. You know, just um, tell, show me what you think uh, that character represents within these lines. Okay, um, give yourself direction, and uh, just let me see what you got. Wait, my queen. The soldier seems to be a worthless human, not a strong warrior, more like a mindless fool. You gotta be careful, though. I keep doing the paper. Yeah, try not to move or rustle the paper. If you want to redo um, those last couple and, uh, and try it again. Just go from the top. The best half. Not really. Uh, yeah, just go from the top. I apologize, my queen, Estevara. I ask you to send me a squad of orcs and an orc hunter. Once this pathetic squad is out in the wilderness again, I will find them. Toot, toot. And we're done for today. Thanks, Charles. Yeah. You're awesome. This just in, folks. Uh, my villain <laughs> can't do an evil act. <laughs> She's just so nice. She's so nice. She's so. <laughs> anyway, this is the bar. Say hi to the camera. This is another person oh, yeah. doing a voiceover, and she's playing uh, Estevara, which is one of the evil uh, bad guys in in, in the show. Yeah. An evil, you see. Yeah, she's she's very evil. She's so evil she can't laugh. Evil. <laughs> it's not working. Okay, all I have to do is laugh right now. So. <laughs> Or you could do that too. Yeah. That works. <laughs> <laughs> no, me sale. <laughs> then, what is the problem, my dear sorcerer? You can surely take one. Ah, uh, take out <laughs> one. Can't you? It's better. <laughs> Yay! Awesome. Okay. And then she's got one more difficult line to do. <laughs> Tell me how! How? Do you do? Do you do? <laughs> Alright. Tell and me how, how, how. We're done! Yay! Yay. Okay. Um, thank you guys so much. I'm actually. Bring Andre back in here. I got something for you guys real quick. Okay, and, okay Andre. So I didn't. I didn't get Andre yet either. He's uh, voicing one of the monsters, like along with me the and monster. Jason. My yeah. Friend. He's he's Torin the. Yeah, I don't need to know about that. Um, <laughs> um, but yeah, these two are actually um, engaged. How nice. <laughs> anyway, uh, they are done with their uh, voiceovers for this season. Okay. Thanks, guys, so much. Oh, okay. I did something very stupid. Oh, well, I don't want to say stupid. Absent minded, let's put it that way. I know that this, for this, needs to go in this to get a voice out of him. <laughs> but it took two tries, or three, two tries <laughs> to realize that. Oh yes, me yes. That was bad. Oh yes, me. Where's my gum? Where's my gum? I want to know where my gum is. Get where your gum on, dude. All right, time to gift this baby. All right, ready? 
Oh, by the way, this is like, it's funny how many times I've been recording voice actors. You seem like you're the hundredth one I've recorded this month. It's crazy. But yeah, we have a new, we have a new person in the room. Say hi, Dean. Hi, Dean. Hi, Dean. Oh, um, you didn't mean literal. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, and <laughs> he is playing uh, Private Gimp. And Private Gimp sounds like, sounds like, Private Gimp sounds like what? Private Gimp, he sounds like this, except he can roll his R's, it's pretty weird. Yes, finding something that we know, that, that, that. Uh, he talks like that a lot too. Yeah. <laughs> it was better. A little better. A little bit. Not a lot. Not a lot. I wasn't crying, tears of joy here. <laughs> I don't see tears. No tears. Just, just, just a little fact. He cries. Just he admitted it. Just to let you know. <laughs> Let's bounce back and forth. Maybe I'll get my gimp on. Time to get my gimp on. Toothpick. What are you talking about? <laughs> there you go. All right, ready? Mm -hmm. Come on, try to get some work done here. Oh. You can cut my pain in half for all I care. All right, ready? I'm cutting your body in half right now. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, here we go. Sorry, sir. I was searching for toothpick. We got separated. And I was hoping he I was, and I was hoping I would get my lines right. I'm not reading this stuff right. I said you want first line, second line, fourth line. That's true. We only have one freaking line here. One paragraph of line for this episode. We can't get it done. can't stand this abuse. I'm moving to Hollywood. I'm going to be a real actor. Are you ready for this? We already did that movie, so sorry. Oh, you're, you're like, how many years too late? <laughs> I'm going to hold a sign. We'll work for food. <laughs> we'll work for Tom Hanks. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Try to be serious here. we got work to do, man. Come on. <clears throat> All right. Here we go. 